Well, this morning, we are excited to launch a series of stories called Learn to Swim, Save a Life. Chances are you or someone you know does not know how to swim. We were surprised to learn seven people in the News for Jack's newsroom never learned to swim. They were terrified of the idea of even taking a lesson, avoided water at all costs. So Jinwa is here to show us it's really not that difficult for even adults to learn. Micah Barnes and Robert Brown are so nervous about learning to swim, they're praying before their first lesson. I am terrified. Like I said, I pretty much don't go near the water. That fear has Micah so hesitant. Can you sit lower? He has to really muster up the courage just to move deeper onto the steps in the shallow end. <laughs> okay, sure. The pool brings back frightening memories when he nearly drowned as a child. He was 10, seeing all the other kids swimming in the pool. He thought he'd teach himself by jumping in. Next thing I know, I was sinking and I was looking at knees and ankles. My dad saved my life. Yeah, just plug your nose. Cindy Party is a swim instructor at the YMCA. She has been teaching for more than 20 years. And we talk about um, the human body floats and, you know, if, if you just relax. Good. Micah starts by blowing bubbles. The ear thing is oh, your ears bother you? Cindy encourages him to try to feel comfortable just getting his face wet. When he's ready, she uses a pool noodle to ease him further into the water. You're right. Yeah, you're good. From here, it's really all about repetition, with a big focus on helping Micah find his kick. I know how to stay in one place for the longest time. <laughs> the one that will keep him afloat so he doesn't sink. Amazingly, by the end of his first one hour lesson, I'm comfortable. And I'm a lot more comfortable now than a couple minutes ago when I stepped in the pool. Um, I, was, I was afraid to even get waist deep. Now I'm, I'm neck deep. And during the next three lessons, Micah really works on those same basic skills. At the halfway point, four days, he is putting his face in the water and actually swimming. And this, this is his last lesson. Two weeks ago, Micah joked he was too afraid to even put his toes in the pool. That's... Now look at him. A jump. <laughs> hey, Bruce, hey, Jim. Robert Brown produces our 7 a.m. newscast. He writes many of the stories Bruce and I bring you every morning. So he knows how often people drown in pools or die in rip currents. Yet, never learn how to swim. Robert nearly drowned as a child. And while the water scares him, living in Florida, it's hard to stay out of it. He admits he goes in the ocean up to his knees and. Well, I've been to pool parties. I just uh, try to make sure that I. I don't get in too deep. <laughs> Robert is like a lot of non-swimmers. Like everyone else thinks it'll never happen to you. Knowing how risky that is, he's now learning to swim. And it's not just for himself, but... If someone I love is in that predicament, I want to be able to save them. I want to be able to react. I don't want to be vulnerable. So I think it's important. One of the first things I tell them, an adult when they get in the water is that... Um, if you struggle, you're going to go. You're, you're going to go down. Cindy Party is a veteran instructor at the YMCA. She starts Robert with the basics, all in three feet of water, getting him comfortable first, just putting his face in the water. Get bubbles or air in his lungs so he'll float up. So he doesn't panic when water splashes his face. If you just relax and don't panic, no matter what happens, don't panic, and you'll be able to float. Next, Cindy works with him on floating. After just 45 minutes of his first lesson, Robert is now confident enough to step away from the wall and kick to the side. This is a big part of learning how to swim, teaching Robert how to get himself to the side to stay alive. That's what really helped me kind of make my way underwater. And after just four classes, look at his progress. Face in the water, using his arms and legs to swim. Awesome. By the final lesson, He's not only swimming, he's jumping into the deep end of the pool. And that's not all. Look at this. Two weeks ago, couldn't even put my head in. Now, just swim the entire distance. A smile that says it all. This is a day I never thought I'd see in my life. Um, swimming is one of the biggest fears I've had in my life. And 
26 years later, to sit here and say that, hey, I can actually swim now, it's just, it's unbelievable. That's Harold Jackson bouncing up out of the water. He and a coworker, Julian Hernandez, are learning how to swim. It's something that I've kind of been embarrassed about for a long time, not knowing how to swim, living in Florida my whole life. It's actually crazy, because I used to live in Hawaii, so that was an island surrounded by water. So you would think I'd have learned by now, but I haven't. Harold is nervous. Cindy Party is their instructor here at the Williams YMCA. Harold's anxiety is triggered by putting his face in the water. It is the number one reason non-swimmers panic. For Julian, it's the memory of nearly drowning when he was six that has him scared. I've carried this irrational fear of water. He did take a swim lesson after that when he was 11 or 12, but didn't have a good experience, which has kept him out of the water until now. It looks like it's all coming back to him now. Cindy, meantime, works with Harold on kicking. First with a noodle, so he stays afloat. Next, the two learn to float on their back. Amazingly, by the end of the first one hour lesson, Harold is able to kick to the wall without help. Julian is swimming. It took like a lot of concentration to be like, it's only three feet of water. It's only three feet of water. They had an audience too, Harold's wife and Julian's fiance. What do you think of Harold? He did good today. <laughs> he did, did he? I could tell he was a little nervous, but he did good. <laughs> That's awesome. And what was this like for you to see Julian? I knew he was like a little freaked out going into the water because he's had this irrational fear since he was six, but he seemed to be doing fine. I didn't ever see him freak out or anything. So I was watching in the corner going, go, go, go. During the next few days, their lessons also include learning how to save another life. Harold shows us what we all should know. You can use whatever you can find. Here, a pool noodle to reach someone in distress. Keep in mind a person who is drowning is so panicked they can take you with them. You need to stay safe. Another option, hold on to the side using your body to reach them. It's about using whatever you have to save a life, including yours. Did you know a pair of jeans can be turned into a life vest? Julian shows how, tying off each leg and then scooping in air. It's something else he learned during his YMCA lesson. I was really blown away by that. You know, I've, I love wearing jeans. and I would have never thought that they would come so in handy one day if I ever were to fall in the water and not have a life vest uh, that you could just fill them up with air and float them. That's great. Fast forward now to their last lesson, day eight. Incredibly, Harold has overcome his fear of drowning. Julian is no longer afraid of the deep end, both now able to swim from one end of the pool to the other. Wow. When there's kids, if they're not swimmers and their kid takes a spill, their natural reaction as a parent or even an adult is going to be to rescue a child, and then we're going to have two victims. So every adult, it's never too late. They need to, even if they're a senior just watching their grandchildren. They need to get in the water and learn how to swim.